This is Ms. Joanne Davis. She's one of our residents here. Give a round of applause. She, for, I mean, we're grateful to have her. She wanted to perform for all of us. And Ms. Davis is a singer-songwriter. And it says here she's very gifted, a very gifted writer and singer. She's so much very, quick. very funny, very real touching. Songs of Human Relationships. This is what Robert Sherman said from the radio station, right? WXXR. And we're so happy to have her, so please. Joanne yeah. Davis! Talking about the same thing, but I wrote this. This is one of my most requested songs. It's a love song to what I love so much. Yes. You can freeze it, melt it, chop it, chip it, dip it, drop it, drizzle it, dip it. If you're feeling kind of mean, you can even whip it, chocolate. Oh, oh yeah. someone to take her place and it was a guy and I went into my lesson and he kept getting behind me and kind of putting his arms through under my arms to try to quote correct my position which I had never had any questions about and on the way home I said to my mother I am not taking any more violin lessons mm. she was she went she, well, 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 she was so upset I did not tell her for years what happened. I was confused. You know, I was very innocent. I just knew that I, I could not go back there. And that was the end of the violin phase. <laughs> <laughs> and I was classical guitar for a few, for several years. Then moved to Greenwich Village, folk guitar, sang traditional music, so I had no reason to write anything. I never wanted to write anything. <laughs> but they were, at those days, if you wanted a gig, you had to write your own material. It was the 60s. I mean, most of the material was not great. So I went home and after a year of sort of trying, finally one day something sort of came to me and that's what started. So now I'm a songwriter. Hey, it's amazing. But I, I want to pay homage to the traditional music because I do like to sing it. And um, this is um, an old 
English or Irish or both air. Sometimes you can't figure out which is which. Um, and it has a nice little chorus. It's called The Wild Mountain Time. And uh, if you sing, you want to sing the chorus, the words are pretty simple. It goes, we'll all go together to pick wild mountain time all around the blooming heather. Will you go to that sea girl?
Mars from Siberia. A gentleman far superior to clots who brought love from morning to night. Boris wooed and won my heart. But alas, we had to part. I'll tell you why we couldn't make it right. We met on a blind date, when freezing frigid, frozen, frigid afternoon. The moment I laid eyes on him, I felt our souls and bodies were in two. He wore a cotton tunic as the breeze made gentle ruffles in his hair. I wore a coat and hat and gloves and scarf and boots and thermal underwear. If you could take a little walk through Central Park's interior. He said it reminded him of springtime in his dear side area. When he lingered neath the barren trees as icicles formed gently on my nose. Bars hummed a Russian air while I lost formal contact with my toes. Siberia, this gentleman far superior turned to me, he grinned his boyish grin. He kissed my fingers one by one. I didn't know this, they were numb, and asked if I would spend my life with him. Said, my dear, I simply have to know, am I the one that you have chosen? I tried to say I loved him so, alas, I couldn't speak, my mouth was frozen. He said, my dear, I, I just don't understand this, I feel so warm and nice, while you just stand and stare at me in silence, are you made of ice? That gentleman far superior thought that I had spurned him cruelly. He did not know my love was true. In fact, I would have been true blue, but ours was a love not meant to. Lashes too, and as he left me there, a voice inside was screaming, springtime in Siberia, be damned. I'm doing about it. Okay, no, yes, I'm doing it. 
We run off into the darkness, the dusk. Very happy. Beautiful songs. There are a lot of them. I personally hate that song because I hate the message. I think it's a mean thing to do to someone. So I wrote my own version, uh, ethnic version, called, called The Broken Bagel. And I, will, I think my foot is. Yes, I think I'm kind of. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I sing it a cappella and uh, in traditional songs. This is the broken bagel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I walked out in the docks of Brooklyn one morning late in May, I spied a comely maiden whose hair was turning gray. Oh, age you may come, leave your cares, come walk alone with me. With downcast eyes, she sought the part. Alas, it cannot be. My lover was a sailor man. He left. Uh, oh, 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 how can I forget those? Words? My sailor was a sailor lad. Ah, something or other. He had to go to sea. He gave this half to me, or I'm going to recite this one because for some reason my verses are coming to me. He had to go to sea. So he broke a ring in half with his own two hands. He broke it in half. And he gave this half to me and bade me swear that I'd be true till he returned from sea. Oh, maybe he's deceased. Maybe he's in jail. It's been 17 long years and my bagel's getting stale. But I will not give over. No, I will not give in. I'll clutch my bagel to my heart and wait for him. Foolish maid, you are deceived. He used you for his sport. By now he's either drowned or has a wife in every port. Your bagel's not the only thing that's getting you stale, I fear. So come along and go with me. I promise you could cheer. My analyst agrees with you. She says I am obsessed and struggling with unresolved edible distress. I've been through Estenesel and Scientology too, but sacred is my pledge to me. So what am I to do? Oh, maybe he's in jail, maybe he's in jail. In 17 long years, and that bagel's getting stale. But I will not give over, no, I will not give in. I'll clutch my bagel to my heart and wait for him. No longer could I control myself. I seized this maiden fair, and something hard pressed in on her, which caused her much despair. I drew it out. She gave a shriek and clasped it hungrily, for it was the other bagel half, and it fitted perfectly. I am your love, lost sailor, love returned from foreign wars. And nowhere did I find a bagel half as nice as yours. Go put these in the oven, love. Try to arouse some yeast. I'll get the cream cheese and the lox and we'll have a wedding feast. <coughs> Broken bagel. <laughs> Instead of counting sheep, where 
the time go? I can't say. And just I turned around and it's gone away. I've been leaving through the layers of worn out books and ancient pages. For a story I used to know One that happened so long ago
like a language we all could understand. I remember the day I earned my first pay when I played in a small kid band. There I spent my youth